basket of angora here and I'm just going to grab a clump of it. I don't want to take too much. I'm going to be hand carting the angora and these are the Ashford hand carters. They have a fine needle carding cloth here and what I do with the angora is I just start on the bottom and I continue moving it across and filling in the rest of the hand carter. Now I don't want to use too much on the brush here and now I'm just starting at the bottom and really transferring the angora onto the other brush here and the goal in carding and hand carding is to really line up the fibers together in a row and make them all parallel to each other. So that right there, that's the first pass. Now I want to keep doing it again. I like doing it at least three times. So when I've got a good quality fiber that to start with, I can get away with just carding it and transferring it from brush to brush three times. So this is my second time. And as I'm going through, I'm looking and I'm being aware, okay, are there any vegetable matter such as hay or is there any kind of dirt or flecks of whatever that I don't want in the yarn. So that was the second pass. Now I'm going to do the third pass and I'm basically just starting at the bottom and transferring one brush to the other. And now see that's left pretty much small fibers. You want the fiber to be at least three inches in length and that'll just make the yarn that much easier to spin and more uniform and just that much better. Okay, so that was the third time, all right? I'm gonna do it one more time. And just get it really nice and smooth on the brush. Okay. What I'm going to do to take it off this brush to make a little row lag is I'm going to lay it down facing up and I'm going to take the bottom fiber here that's not on the handle side and roll the fiber off of the hand carter and then put it aside. For this baby hat, I really don't need that much yarn, so I'm just going to spin up enough for two bobbin fulls, and then I'm going to ply those two together. 